Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. It's around 8 in the morning and right after my husband left for work, I started organizing and cleaning some part of kitchen because kids are awake but they are doing their school work. So I thought before they come downstairs for breakfast, I can finish at least some part of it. So I ordered this liner from Amazon uh, and the reason I ordered this is because I don't want to get the scratches on the shelf every time when we put the things in and out. So I ordered one roll to see how it is. So before I put that in there, of course, I had to take all these things out. And before I put the liner in, I'm going to go ahead and clean the shelf also. So on Amazon, they have tons and tons of different varieties of this liner. It comes in many different color also, but I chose the clear one. And it also comes pre-cut, but the pre-cut wasn't the right size for my shelf. So I went with the roll and first of all, I measure it. And then I thought at least if I can cover two shelves with this one roll, that would be good. But uh, I actually ordered two more roll because it wasn't enough. So I would definitely highly recommend because now the things are so easy to take it out and put them back in there. Basically, you can just slide it and you don't have to worry about uh, getting scratches on the glass surface. So it covered two shelves, but then it was just a little bit short for one shelf. So I ordered more so then I can cover the top shelf as well as the two drawer in the bottom. So this is how it looks like. So as you can see, it's just a little bit shorter, but I was like, it's okay. You know, because once I put the things on top of that, it should be fine. And someone asked me if this freeze has a water dispenser or not. So yes, it does. As you can see, it is inside. So traditionally, water dispenser is outside the freeze, like on the door, but this one is inside. So yes, it does has a water dispenser, but it's hiding in there. So now that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and organize all these things how it was before. And let me tell you guys, this acrylic basket are so helpful because as you can see, I can put so many things in one basket and whatever I want to take it, it's so easy to grab it uh, instead of putting all these things everywhere. So I would highly suggest those acrylic baskets. And I cannot wait until Dross is open so then I can go and buy more those things. Uh, because I saw on Amazon, uh, prices is okay. I mean, but I think I can find uh, cheaper at the Ross. So I'm just waiting Ross to open so I can go and start shopping again. So freeze is organized. Now let's move to the drawers now. So this drawer is next to the stove, as you can see, and this drawer has all the spatulas, knife, all the basically things that I needed for everyday cooking. And doesn't matter how careful you get, it always get dirty. So I do have the organizer in there. So first of all, I'm going to take all these things out and make sure the organizer is clean. And then underneath the organizer, I have no idea how, but the all these crumbs and everything gets over there too so i do have the liner in there so first of all i'm gonna clean the liner and then i'm gonna clean the drawer also and here i'm using this method cleaner it is all-purpose cleaner it is uh plant-based so there is no any chemicals and all those things in there um, so that's it once it's cleaned properly i'm gonna put all these things back in there and yes, I do have the Hanmanji picture in this drawer because this drawer, as you can see, it has a strainer and everything in there. So that is also first thing in the morning. I open it when I make the chai. So I can, you know, unke darshan karke fir mera din aage jaye. To unka picture bhi andar hi hai. Or this two drawer is next to it. And as you can see, um, you know, they are okay. They are not that bad. I did clean this middle drawer also and uh, that drawer is like a uh, it has a 
like all those mixed things so that one doesn't have an organizer and this one is the cabinet underneath so as you can see how dirty it's get right all this crumbs and everything so again I clean everything and in this cabinet I have all my pots and pens which I use it every single day and this is the method all-purpose cleaner which I'm using here so this is how the cabinet looks like once I organize everything so as you can see I do have my rice cooker there pots and pans and pressure cooker everything is in this cabinet now we're gonna move to the cabinet next to it and as you can see this one has the oil extra salt ghee is there my third cup pan is there also masala box everything is in here but the way I organize it doesn't look cluttery at all so first of all I'm gonna take all these things out and as you can see I do have this wire basket and I have lined that with the aluminum foil as well as the paper napkin so in this basket I keep all the oils and ghees and all that so that way in case if there is any drip the cabinet doesn't get messy so first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this uh, aluminum foil with the new one So I do have this hanging basket in there to maximize the space. So first of all, I'm going to take all these things out and clean everything. And while I was cleaning, I thought I have extra liner, but I don't. So I don't want to put all these things without any protection. So I'm going to line some paper napkin there. So it's going to give some kind of protection until I don't go somewhere and buy the liner. So here I do have this another wire basket and this in this basket I'm going to have all my extra oil. So again as you see I did line that also with the aluminum foil. So this is how I organize this cabinet and as you can see in the back I do have some backup oil, salt, those things I put it over there. In this hanging basket I keep tarka pen. And in this basket, I keep all the oils as well as the ghee which I'm currently using. And uh, even this container, the oil big container, as you can see, I line that with the aluminum foil. So that way, you know, in case if there is any kind of drip or anything, the cabinet surface is doesn't get affected. I also keep fruit chopping board as well as the spice box in here too. One side of cabinets as well as the drawers are clean and now at this point any groceries which I need to refill I'm gonna go ahead and do that so any masalas which I needed in my masala box or any masalas or any kind of grocery basically that I need to refill which I need to get it from my storage area I will go ahead and do that at this point. Since I was refilling basin, I thought let me just go ahead and make the veggie chila for kids breakfast. And this veggie chila recipe, it is so versatile. Especially if you have a picky eater, you can sneak all these vegetables in there. Serve this chila with the ketchup and I'm sure they will love it. So I'm going to add some green chilies, different color bell pepper, cilantro, as well as just a few leaves of mint. And believe me guys, when you add mint in there, it tastes good, it smells good and the taste is not going to be strong. It will be just a mild flavor but really it tastes so good. And of course, everything tastes better with the onion so that's what I'm going to add. And I'm also adding some grated carrot as well as the chopped tomatoes. Now into this basin, I'm going to add salt to taste as well as asa patita, just a little bit. Also, I'm adding some haldi powder, red chili powder, and just a little bit of dhania jeera powder. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix all this veggie into the basin. For kids food, you have to be innovative and you have to come up with this something new, especially nowadays since they are at home. And I always make sure that the 
breakfast they get proper balance uh, since it is the first meal of the day so you can make this chila either for lunch or those days where you don't want to have proper dinner you can make this and here i'm just adding a little bit oil in there i'm gonna go ahead and mix everything properly first and then I'm going to slowly start adding water. Now, when you add the water, you do want to make sure that there is no any lumps in it. And it should be in the pouring consistency. So, batter is ready. And on this other side, tawa is hot enough too. So, first of all, I'm going to grease the tawa with some oil. And then I'm going to pour this batter. Now, try to make thin as much as you can, but it will be hard since we have all those vegetables in there. And uh, I'm going to cook this on medium flame for about two to three minutes on one side. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip it on the other side. Let that side cook also. So this chila is cooked properly from both sides and you can serve this either with the green chilies or ketchup and of course chai and veggie chila is the perfect combination. So I'm going to go ahead and make the second one and I'll keep making it while they eat so they can have the nice and hot veggie chila. So this is it friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I had a very busy but productive morning and uh, this is how I catch up with all the things which I need to do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.